The government of St. Lucia, led by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre, has stepped up measures to improve security at the island's air and seaports. Prime Minister Pierre has successfully negotiated for state-of-the-art, non-intrusive scanning equipment with X-ray capabilities for the Customs and Excise Department. What is important is we have to stay focused on the cause. And the focus for us now is to try to stop or at least limit the level of crime in St. Lucia and improve citizen security. That is the focus. And this government is going to remain focused on achieving that goal. The government of Taiwan responded to the Prime Minister's call. His Excellency Peter Chen officially handed over the consignment of scanning equipment to the Customs and Excise Department on June 26. As Honorable Prime Minister Fee Jepier addressed in CARICOM Regional Symposium, under the theme, violence as a public health issue, San Lucia government takes a holistic approach that includes government and society in formulating the public security strategy. The Distress Support Fund and the police equipment presented today has not only highlighted the importance of, the, of this approach, but also timely demonstrated the determination of St. Lucia government in the issue of citizens' safety. The new X-ray scanners will further enhance the existing security measures at the island's ports and also reinforce the interdiction efforts by the island's law enforcement agencies. One of the most significant threats facing our country and our region <coughs> is the increase in firearm-related crime. The destabilizing effects of illegal firearms and narcotics on national security and citizen safety cannot be overstated. There is a clear connection between illicit inflows of small arms and light weapons and narcotics and incidents of violent crime involving firearms. Combating this threat is therefore cooperation with Taiwan has further strengthened St. Lucia's national security. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.